It's about time I reviewed this item, huh? Hello everyone, my name is WestNinja11 and today we are taking a look at the Tom's Adventures Frankie. Now you may be asking... Westy, why are you only now reviewing an item that you got 4 months ago? Well, the simple answer to that is... I was lazy and I also didn't have much time. But now with school out of the way, I can finally review her. However, something I don't get is why is she so damn hard to find. Because I was able to get the rest of the journey beyond solar characters quite easily. And my friends in Hungary also had a hard time obtaining her. But now, without further ado, let's begin. Let's take a quick look at her packaging first. There's a clear see-through blister where you can see Frankie inside, and above it you can see her name in multiple languages. Next to that we can see an image of her from the show with Metal Engine written above it. And it has the Adventures logo next to it. The back of the box just has a bunch of jargon all over it with an image of the Steam Team. Now then, let's get her out of the box. Out of the box, I can safely say that this is some of Adventure's best work. For starters, her face is a perfect representation of her from the show, with MSC written above her face. Her handrails are also painted silver. Too bad mine already had a bit of it missing while it was in the box. Her nameplate is also written on her side, and she has some bronze paint around her body. And her windows are also painted, along with her having proportions on part of the 2013 take and play models, which was the golden era of the diecast line aside from the age of Ertl. Unfortunately though, she isn't without flaws. For starters, the buffer beam is rather small compared to the show, and it also lacks the number 4002 on it. And they could have given her side rods like they did with Diesel and Bert. Her back also has no paint whatsoever on it, even though there are many details molded on it. And of course, like most Adventures engines, she doesn't have painted buffers. In conclusion, even with the few flaws that I mentioned earlier, I still believe that Frankie is an amazing model and I highly recommend that you pick her up if you haven't already. I hope you all enjoyed my review. See you all next time, goodbye! <laughs>